NYC forces all city employees to undergo radical critical race theory training. Really unfair. A source told Fox News that NYC wanted the contracts with the city and the hiring to be determined with a racial equity lens. EXCLUSI, the Mayor Eric Adams, New York City, forced all of its employees into a radical critical race theory-inspired training, according to a copy of the training reviewed by Fox News Digital. The mandatory training was sent to all New York City employees with a March 6 deadline. The training provides all NYC employees with a framework to understand the importance of racial equity in the workplace, the email said. The controversial lens expressed in the training is called critical race theory, which holds that America is and was always structurally racist. CRT adds that the U.S. was designed from its start to systematically oppress minority groups in order to uphold systems of power for the dominant culture or white racial group. CRT also maintains an oppressor versus oppressed lens of society and classifies people into groups based on supposed privilege. A source familiar with the racial equity training told Fox News Digital where they were discussing equity, how we have to look at people through a particular lens that contradicted, the idea that we should treat everybody equally. I do not agree with what they want us to do as city employees. The racial equity training leads me to believe that they want the contracts with the city and the hiring from the city being looked at through this lens. And that's what I think is really unfair. It goes against their stated claims that everybody should be treated equally. The training said that there was no scientific basis to race and that it was invented to create a system of exclusion and oppression. Race has no genetic or scientific basis. It is a social construct created to classify people on the arbitrary basis of skin color and other physical features, it said. Despite this, race has a very real impact on people's lives. This is because our society has used race to establish and justify systems of power, privilege, exclusion, and oppression. The training said there were two other types of racism besides for individual racism. Institutional racism, policies, practices, patterns, and structures within public and private institutions that impose oppressive or otherwise negative conditions on identifiable groups on the basis of race or ethnicity. It stated, Structural racism slash systematic racism. Racism that occurs across multiple institutions and is integrated into politics, culture, and other aspects of life. Creating a system that negatively impacts communities of color compared to white communities. It also said all New York City workplaces should maintain an equity lens by implementing anti-racism training in their workforces, creating safe spaces where race can be regularly discussed and address unconscious bias, which may be causing a racist work environment. To foster equity, embrace the idea that a problem may exist. Become aware of systematic racism and the possible presence of racial inequity in your workplace, the training stated. Understand the dominant cultural patterns of your workplace and whether they are hurting or helping your diversity, equity, and inclusion goals. The training continued, be conscious, unconscious bias. Implicit bias occurs when our brains make quick judgments and assess people in situations without us consciously knowing or realizing it. These biases are pervasive and employees often possess them unintentionally. 